Alright, in today's episode we will create a detail widget for our items so that when we hover over a slot we can see the name of the item, a bigger version of the icon and also the item's description. So let's get started. First off, you want to go inside of your widgets folder and right click to create a new widget blueprint. Call that one Detail Widget. Open it up, change the setting to desired on screen and first off we will kill the canvas panel. Now we will start with a border. That will be the outer border. Give it a padding of 3 to every side and change the color to white with an alpha of 0.5. Then drag another border on top of our border. That will be the inner border. Give that a padding of 3 as well for the content and make the brush color complete black. Then we will search for a vertical box and add that on top of our border. On top of our vertical box we will first add a horizontal box. In that horizontal box we will display the item's icon, name and the category. So start with a size box for our icon. Make the width and height override to something bigger than the slot versions of our icons, so something like 85 should work. Align that to the left middle, then search for an image, add that on top of our size box, call that our icon, and that's that. Then we will search for another vertical box, add that on top of our horizontal box, then search for text. And we'll add one on top of the vertical box. This one will be our name. Make that a variable. Also give it some padding. 10 for the padding to the left. 10 to the top. And maybe also 10 to the right. Set the horizontal alignment to align left. And the vertical alignment to align center. Also you can type in some text to see how it will look. Type in health potion. Then grab another text, add that on top of a vertical box and that will be our category. That should be a variable as well. Also give that some padding, so like 5 to the left, 2 to the top and 5 to the right worked fine for me. That will be aligned to the right and to the center. Also decrease the font size to something like 20 and make the font type italic. Then you can type in something like consumable. Okay, so now that's it for our name, category and icon. Let's go back to our vertical box and add a size box to that. Now we will just add an image to separate the areas with our icon, health potion and category from our description. So set that to fill and give it a height override of 3 pixel. Then search for an image, drag that on top of the size box and for the color leave it white and just lower the alpha to 0.5 again. After that, after that we have to add another size box to our vertical box and give that a width override of 0 pixel. You will see in a second why we need that. Also give the size box a padding, something like 5 to the top. and 5 to the bottom. Then we will need another text to drop on our size box. Lower the font size to something like 18. Set the type to regular and make sure that it's auto wrapped so we can have multiple lines of text here. Then make that a variable, call that our description. And you could type in something here see how it looks. I would just skip that part. Then let's go to the graph and add some variables. First will be item info. Make that s underscore item info. Also make sure it's editable and exposed on spawn. Then add another variable that will be the amount. Make that an integer and also editable and exposed on spawn. Compile and save. Now let's add an update function. Update 
and first we will get the description text set text and the text will come from our item info so break that here plug in the description after that get our icon set brush from texture for the texture expand the s item info and get the icon then you will get the category set the text for the in text get the category make that to a, to a text and plug in the text here and now we will also get our name set text and someone posted on the forums that I'm not using enough select nodes so we will change that now search for select plug in the return value for our in text the index will be our can be stacked so if it can't be stacked we will just use the name but if it can be stacked we will right click and search for format text for the format type in curly bracket name close the curly bracket hit space for once x open another curly bracket type in amount close the curly bracket for the name plug in the name for the amount get the amount plug that in and then the formatted text will go into our true node all right after that you can return now compile save and we also have to create our detail widget and that we will do on our inventory slot widget so go to the event graph and go here to the event graph now we add this update slot event so if our slot is not empty after we did everything here we will create a widget of the class detail widget item info comes from our item info and the amount from our amount then promote the return value to a variable call that our detail widget after we did that grab the slot button and search for set tool tip and it will ask you for a widget and that widget will be our detail widget so now we could connect that to the set visibility however then every time we call our update function and our slot is not empty it will create a new widget so before we do that we will get our detail widget and check for is valid connect the execution to our set visibility if it's not valid we will create a detail widget however if it already is valid get the detail widget and set the item info to our item info just so we can update afterwards then set the amount to the amount here after that of the detail widget call our update function and after we did that we can copy our set tooltip widget and paste that here all right now we also have to go back to our branch and when our slot is empty we will get the slot button and set tooltip make sure that there is nothing for the widget so we just reset that and there will be nothing to show when we hover over an empty slot now compile and save and there's one thing i forgot before we can play test go to the detail widget and on our event graph when it's constructed we want to call our update function another thing is that we have to go inside of our update function and there is one mistake i made here so you cannot get the category and convert it directly to the text so of the category search for to string and select the enum to string and not the byte then of the string plug that in for the in text and that will be converted compile and save and now we should finally be able to test that when we pick up our health potions i can hover over them we can see the bigger version of the icon health potions 50 times it's a consumable and there's the description 
Now when we get our map, you can see that it's readable and you can see the description there. And our ring details are also displayed correctly. Alright, that's it for this video. In the next one we will probably deal with the notification when we obtain an item. So see you then.